this edition of the Jefferson News Network, the news for kids by kids. My name is Braden, and today we want to talk about all the construction going on at Jefferson Elementary. We asked Foreman Mike McLean from Russell Construction what is going on. There's a lot of construction going on at Jefferson. Uh, can you tell us about it? Yeah, um, what we have going on is we got a 15,000 square foot addition being added on to Jefferson. In that, inside of that footprint that we're building is a storm shelter, which is right behind us here. Uh, that would be in case of severe weather, you guys would be able to take shelter in there. Inside the, also you'll have two large bathrooms. You'll have eight classrooms. Uh, there'll be some office space and some storage. The building will also connect into the central gymnasium portion of the building, and then it also will connect to your existing Jefferson building as well. Did you notice the strange outfits worn on the construction site? We asked Mike what those are all about. So we wear our PPE, which is your high-vis vest, your safety glasses, your hard hat, and we wear boots. The reason for that is, is we have to have hard show, hard, hard sole shoes, excuse me, uh, so that we don't step on anything that goes through our shoes. We have to wear eye protection, so we're always working with tools. We don't want any debris to fly up into our eyes, so we don't lose an eye. Hard hats are for falling debris that could be falling from the scaffolds or from somebody working up above you. Uh, the high-vis vest is so that the machinery that's around you, that's driving around, sees you. If you're wearing plain clothes, when the guys are looking in their mirrors, they can't see you as well as wearing uh, the high-vis coloring. So the high-vis coloring makes you stand out. Personal protective equipment is definitely important on a construction site. So what phase of the process are we in? We asked Mike for an yep. update. So in all this construction, what has been completed and what still needs to be done? So what we've had completed is we have done some demos, some existing buildings. We've leveled those down. Uh, we've put footings in and we have started our CMU walls. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have had some underground plumbing installed and for what has what is needed to be completed is quite a bit we are pretty early in on construction so we still need to get the rest of the cmu walls completed uh, we need to uh, complete our footings there in the very back we have a little bit left which will be completed this week and we have a lot of concrete to lay so we have a floor and then our interior walls we have steel to erect yet and roofs to put on so we still have quite a bit of work to complete as you can tell, a lot has been happening. We asked Mike about the timeline for the project to be complete. Well, our projected time is November, so we're hoping to be finished up in November. We're at the mercy of the weather at times since we're still working on exterior stuff, so whatever, whatever Mother Nature gives us, we have to... Uh, to put up with that so she's been really nice to us lately with a lot of nice warm weather it's kind of uh it's been a really good february usually this time of year uh the ground's frozen uh, it's still cold and snowy out we've been very fortunate this last couple weeks to make up some time from the the last couple weeks if you remember we just had a big snowfall we had over two foot of snow back here at one time and the guys uh had to take two weeks off nothing could have nothing happened those two weeks uh due to the 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 inclement weather so uh, they're moving along right now and every day they're working and trying to get as much done as they can so November uh, probably the end of November is what we're projecting well there you have it soon Jefferson Elementary will have a new addition we will keep you updated on this project for now reporting from Jefferson this is JNN News